Now, Paul will sum this up. I'm going to I'm going to get to the verse I want to get to because I haven't even reached So, it. hey everybody. This is uh, WWCR on 13845. So this is a series of videos that I will be doing in the next uh, week to come. I will be revisiting receivers that I have and that I've owned for a while, but only the ones that are still sold online. So you'll have an idea of some of these radios. Um, now I've been using them for a long time. This is one of my first ever Texan receivers. I purchased it because I was curious what a uh, radio that costs about $20 can do. So I actually purchased this many years ago. It's still in great working condition. So what is this radio? Well, it's a little portable AM FM shortwave radio. It's an analog, old style analog radio with, you know, little needle in the frequencies that are uh, in different shortwave bands. As you see here, this receiver uh, amazed me when I actually received it because usually radios that are, you know, in the $20 range are rather crappy in performance and aren't really worth what they, um, they are, even if they're just 20 bucks. This one is totally worth that 20 bucks. It's pretty surprising um, as a radio. It has the shortwave bands uh, split into 10 different shortwave bands. And it um, is, you know, large enough that you don't miss too much of the broadcast, but you do miss a little bit. That's probably the negative point is some stations that are out of the band a little bit. Uh, some of them you'll miss here because of the limits of this uh, radio. For example, on 41 meters, you're... You know, limited to about 7,400 roughly kilohertz. There's a lot of stations above that, so you miss out there a little bit. Although it does give you and start at 6,900, you might actually be able to get some AM pirates in here. So there's a little bit of miss on some of the frequency ranges. That would be the negative point. But apart from that, it has the international broadcast bands, pretty much all of them. It's sensitive enough to actually work quite well on its own with a telescopic, the telescopic antenna that you have. You can throw in a couple of feet of wire if you want and clip it to the antenna. It does not have an antenna jack. It's not really made for that. But that will help in bringing a little more signals. So the Texan R9012 is a nice little portable analog. If you're looking for something that's not too big because it's rather small, if you're looking for something that, you know, for the price, for a cheap price, performs well, it's uh, 22 US dollars on Amazon. So it's roughly 20, 22 dollars um, in range, which is not a lot in US dollars, of course. It is basic in its features, meaning that if you aren't very tech savvy, if you're not really good with technology, you know, this is a good old style radio, analog radio, on off switch, on the side, uh, tuning knob. Then on the other side, all you have is the volume control. You have headphone jacks and you have a power jack if you want to power it by a adapter. Adapter is not included. The earbuds are included for uh, listening with earbuds. It is FM stereo in FM, which is nice. It has a little tuning indicator, so it's not, you know, an S meter or anything, but when you tune around with this, it actually will give you light up in red when you actually uh, get a signal that's strong enough. So if I put myself, for example, maybe I could put myself in uh, the FM band, you'll see here that you have the tuning, but that is actually lit up here in red. It is, uh, you, it uses two AA batteries, which last forever. So if you're looking for something that doesn't drain batteries much, I mean, the batteries in here, I put, um, I usually put alkalines in this radio because I know that whatever I do, it'll, it's always going to be working. But of course, uh, you can put uh, rechargeables. Like I said, it's sensitive enough to bring in some of those uh, real nice uh, international broadcasts. And actually, because I'm talking about it today, 
I'll be posting videos of stations I've been receiving. Uh, so if you want to see what and how it performs, we'll even have a medium wave nighttime uh, tuning. The FM band is nice. Um, one of the things that I often use as a beacon on FM is to uh, go on 107.9 and see if I hear my VPR station. In, uh, that's about 100 miles away, which usually indicates that the receiver is not too bad. So it does work. Of course, it tends to overload a little bit on FM, especially here with all the very strong stations. But that's, you know, even much more expensive receivers have that problem. What you do is, you, you know, I just collapse the uh, antenna and most of the time it receives well anyways. So nice little, you know, shortwave radio. It's cheap, but it uh, does an amazing job for the price. The Texan R9012. It's available on eBay. It's available on Amazon and uh, roughly in the $20, $25 range, which is, you know, low price if you're afraid of having a radio stolen or anything. So it's still available, and I've been using this one for, well, at least six, seven, eight years. I don't know how long I've been. Uh, I have this radio, but it's been a long time. I purchased it on eBay at least seven years ago. So hope you enjoy uh, the uh, little quick review and look back at the Texan R9012. More videos coming up today of uh, stations I'm receiving so you guys can see how uh, surprisingly well this little radio performs. Sound quality also is very nice uh, with the little uh, speaker. Speaker is small, but uh, it's uh, one of the most beautiful sounds out of a small speaker that I've seen in many radios. And beats radios that are much more expensive in that uh, sound quality department. No filters, so there's no wide or narrow filters or anything. And no single sideband. Um, if you are listening amateur radio bands, you might not. Well, they're first of all, they're not really covered much except the maybe the upper portion of 80 meters and part of 40 meters. But uh, this thing does not have single sideband. And it does not, it's not a general coverage. It has 10 bands, and you cannot tune in between the frequency ranges uh, in between each band. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thanks for watching.